These students also struggled to figure out how to interact with professors at Middlebury. I think for me there was a huge cultural, um, cultural difference on how to like approach people who are your elders. So like having to call professors by their first name sometimes, like I still don't do it, I always say professor something. I remember googling how to write an email to a professor. <laughs> That's a good do you difference. use the word professor when you're addressing a professor? <laughs> do you need to email in advance to go to office hours? Mm. What exactly are office hours? This is a totally reasonable question. At Middlebury, a professor's office hours are the times they set aside for their students to stop by and talk. And they really want you to do that. But not all students get that right away. It took me a year to build up the courage to go to office hours. Um, and it was crazy because every class I've ever had, as soon as like my professor was done going through the syllabus, they would say, if you have absolutely any questions, anything that you want to come talk to me about, come talk to me. In high school, I thought that to go to office hours, I needed a question or I needed like a big problem with my life and I'd have to like have something ready to go, <laughs> like help me with this question. Um, so I think it was a huge surprise to like realize that I could just show up to office hours and like chat with a professor and they're willing and happy to do that. I feel bad for this, but I don't think I've ever scheduled an office hour. I'm just like, hey, question, <laughs> you know, and then like, and they're always like, oh, come in, sit down. And then like, you may have other professors that are like, oh, um, I wasn't expecting you, but like, come in. When I go to my uh, American literature major uh, advisor's office for office hours, like, it always begins with, hello, friend, how are you doing? You know, how actually, how are you doing? You know, with, you know, just being a student here. For most students, the biggest adjustments involve getting comfortable with the pace and the basic practices of college academic work, learning the best ways to study, developing strong research and writing skills, and planning the best way to manage a heavy workload. Coming in as a first year, like you sit in classes with like sophomores and juniors and seniors, and it's pretty intimidating. In high school, um, it's a little bit different. It's like you have an assignment, you do it that night, and then it's like the next day you wait to see what the next one is. Or you have a paper, you get it done, and, and you don't have to think about that next paper for a little while, I feel. Um, and it's, it's not like that in, in college. I write really long sentences because in Arabic you just don't use, you know, full stops <laughs> unless you're like done with the paragraph. And so like my professor was just like, I understand where you're coming from, but why don't you go check out like the CDLR or the peer tutors. It's important to remember that when every new student comes with a different type of preparation, questions and confusion are inevitable. And so when I like started taking chemistry classes at Middlebury, I'd be in class and like the professor would say something and students are just like just spitting out these things. And I'm like, were we supposed to know this before class? Because I was like, I did not know this. No question about it, these moments do not feel good. And like, because of that, I would just feel so fearful to talk in class because I'm just like, I'm going to say something that is so wrong and everyone's just going to laugh. But letting fear of embarrassment hold you back can also lead to bigger problems because when you don't talk in class or ask questions, you can't get the help you need. It took me a few failed exams to realize I didn't know how to study, um, but I was too embarrassed to like, go to professors about it because I kind of hoped that if I didn't remind them that I had, was failing all the exams, they would forget. And I always had this idea in the back of my head, like, I do not want to go bother these people with my <laughs> stuff, like, you know. Freshman year of, like, failed exams, I'd be like, who am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, oh, you don't do that. <laughs> that in my mind, I was like a bad student, which isn't true, but was the narrative I was telling myself because I also didn't fail exams in high school and that was new to me and thought like that must mean I'm a failure and the professors wouldn't want to waste their time. There was even this point in time in which I was like considering transferring because I was just like okay I don't know if this is the place for me like I don't feel as if I belong intellectually speaking.